All right, guys. So, uh, woo! Rocky Mountain Backcountry in the shop. Hey, guys. Welcome to Rocky Mountain Backcountry. We're in the garage, and we're going to do some chopping. So, I've seen this done on a couple of the blogs. What's been going on is they're taking this section out right here and uh, takes that big nasty hump out of that roof line. That's what we're going to do. So, uh, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Let's see how this thing turns out. I'm going to put some of it on time lapse and I'll record some of it. And uh, turn the camera around too. All right, so here's the process. Oh, by the way, yeah, picked up that sweet little roof there. Guys, 110 bucks. Called up my local metal shop, told him the measurements that I wanted. He whipped it out and 110 bucks. I bent it right there. Ended up being a perfect bend. It's got some U-bolts in the back. Check that. All right, piece of cake. That's where the factory one bolts in right there. Anyway, all right, time for the chop. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get these seats out of here, get the box out of the back, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys. I got the box out of the back. I got the seats out. And um, trying to decide what I should do here. Cut off wheels or uh, Sawzall. I think we're gonna go with the Sawzall because I don't wanna throw sparks all over the new garage. So yeah, by the way, whew, finally done building this house. And I got stuff all over the place, but you know what? It's project time, so this is what we're gonna do. And I'm going to set this up on time lapse so that you guys can get an idea of what's going on and how I do it. And I'll stop and explain it here and there, but Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Chop, chop. All right, well, you saw that. I decided to uh, scrap the Sawzall. I didn't want to cut very good. I've got that cut out right there, that section. You can see that I pretty much cut, get it focused. Tap on that center screen. Oh, there you go. I got the bar cut out of there on both the bottom and on the top. And in theory, you loosen those bolts, you loosen that bolt, and these two down here, and that sucker's supposed to pinch right together and we'll weld it up. So, there's side number one. There goes side number two. All right, you guys, we're cut both sides. Oh man, nice focus, dude. All right, we're cut both sides, there you go. I am gonna take a grinder and clean all that stuff up. That's the driver's side, that's the passenger side. So let me give you guys a little bit of quick history about myself. Uh, aside from having a garage that's too small, I've got 25 years of auto body history and so to do this really doesn't scare me at all to weld it up doesn't scare me at all I've built hot rods and built chassis built my own frames and own suspensions and all that kind of stuff so 
this really doesn't scare me too bad so anyway that's a little bit of my history and uh here we go more time lapse here we go Okay, sweet. I just checked the time and it's only 9.30. Man, tonight is still young. All right, so that's what I got right there with the front bolts right here on the windshield loosened. That's all I've done. You can see I, got, I still got something there going on. But I'm going to loosen this guy and I'm going to loosen these two right down here. And I'm going to do the same on the other side because that looks about the same. And then let's see what it does. So first off, those people that say that, oh, it just loosen the bolts and it falls right into place. <laughs> yeah, right. See these straps? You got to loosen these bolts. You got to loosen these bolts. You got to loosen this bolt. I strapped it. These are loose, both sides. I strapped it. I got it in great shape right now. There's a little bit of pressure bringing those two back pieces in together like this. Uh, I'm not really concerned about it. But uh, those guys that say that it just fell right into place, they must not have had tight enough tolerances or their tolerances on their bolts might have been a little bit looser than these were on mine but you can see what happened is this piece right here tweaked back into place a little bit the whole front bar kind of slid back like this but not quite far enough so that's why I had to loosen these and tweak that back just a little bit I've got that lined up pretty good it's time to get the welder out. Well, there's the first side. If you're uh, not much of a welder, I'm not saying that I'm a great welder, but that's not an easy one. So that's the first side. Got a little bit of touch up to do around the back side. Whew, man. All right, guys, I'm done welding. I don't want to hear it about my welds. Got them welded all the way around. I got lots of heat in that old girl. Settings were kind of warm. But you can see there, I'll get her cleaned up and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, so... Uh, Rocky Mountain Backcountry in the shop. So, here's my takeaway on this little project. It looks really good. And I like the chopped look. I really like those lower profile roofs. But, until I can build a full custom cage. This is gonna have to do. So, don't look at my messy garage because I'm just moving into the house, but I was itching to do this project. And I love it. I love it. Hey, you guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. I'm sorry it's been a while, but I'm back. We got this house done and I'm moved in. And now it's time to get back on the trail with you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Right down there somewhere along there. I think it's on this side. Subscribe to me. Check us out. Like our videos. And uh, hit that little bell so you can be notified of when the next one's coming. Because it's coming. I promise.